Hello everyone and welcome to Wine Raccoon. Today we will be sipping on Generala Paecho Vinho Tinto. Don't know if I get that right, but this is uh, a wine from Portugal. It does not have a year on it, but this is supposed to have notes of blackberry, baking spices, and graphite. So let's go ahead and take this one for a spin. The glass didn't break, don't worry. Ooh. First sip, I really like that. Really nice, bold flavors. Um, the first thing you get is the blackberry, which is great because that is the t first tasting note. Um, you get that kind of in the center and then flowing to the back of your tongue. Um, those baking spices, I would say it's kind of like a, I mean, I think of baking spices, I think of like gingerbread, you know? And yeah, 100%, I mean, like a clovey, gingery, I mean, yeah, baking spices, think like gingerbread, you know, just really warm kind of spice flavor on the sides of your tongue. It's it's really nice. It complements the blackberry incredibly well. Yeah. And I'll admit, uh, I don't I don't know what graphite tastes like. Um because I'm thinking pencils? you know, graphite and pencils, but, um, I mean, even, even just, if we were to just focus on those first two, it's lovely. The flavors do linger on the sides and the back of the tongue, so everything, right? Those baking spices and the blackberry, they mix really well together. Um, they complement each other while both flavors are very bold, very forward, like, that's, like, wow, that's a lot of flavor. Um, it's not, it's not too much where you kind of go, oh, no, you know, <laughs> um, because I, I have had wines like that where I go, oh, that is, it's, it's too much, you know, too much of the baking spice, too much of the whatever, um, beautiful combination in my opinion. Um, let's see. It is a little bit dry. I would say it's equal parts of dry and sweet. So it makes your mouth feel dry, but it also has a sweetness to it, which is nice. Um, yeah, I, I like this one. I, I think it's really good. I think, especially if you are kind of around the holidays, any wine that has like a nice baking spice flavor, the red wine that has a nice baking spice flavor, I think is going to be really nice around the holidays with all those baked goods. Oh my goodness. Wonderful. So, um, yeah, I, I think that's, that's all I have for you today. So on a scale of zero to five, zero being, I never want to drink this again. And five being, I want to drink this every day. Um, I would probably give this one a four. It's, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's not, um, like I said, it's dry. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it from that blackberry, but um, I think it's a wine that most people would enjoy. It's kind of a middle of the road one. So uh, that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, feel free to drop those in the comments below. And I look forward to having a sip again with you soon.